So let's look at how we can take CTEs to replace a drive table. Drive tables, for anyone who's used them much, they just get ugly over time. The drive table is a great way to simplify the query and allow for cleaner code. It's a way to break it up so it makes much more sense in what you're, what you're viewing when, it, when you're looking at a query. When you write that four page long query with 17 different drive tables and six different chunks of copied code, it probably makes a lot of sense at the time you write it, but if you come back a year or two later and look at it, you're not gonna be able to make heads or tails out of it. CTEs are a great way to break that up so it makes more sense. Keep in mind though that using a CTE does not change the performance at all versus a drive table. So if you've got a drive table subquery that's being run twice somewhere in your existing query, there's so much work to make that happen twice. If you're referencing that as a CTE twice, it's still just the exact same amount of work. So there's nothing being saved there. The results aren't being saved. When you use a CTE name, it runs it a second time or a third time or a fourth time, depending on how many times it's referenced. You get more value out of it the bigger the query is that you're breaking up. You eliminate accidents that are caused by duplicate code in your drive table queries. I don't know how many times I've looked at a drive table query that was really nested deep and I realized there's a chunk of code up at the top that needs to be changed but then you realize it's gotta be changed at six more times all the way through. You run the query and it doesn't work. You look back and you realize, oh, it was supposed to be run at seven times or fixed seven times, not six times. And those are just a pain to maintain. So let's take a look at how we, how we can do this to replace this example. So highlighted in red or in bold, if you're colorblind, is a drive table subquery that's replicated twice here. And you can imagine that could be used four or five, 10 times, whatever, in a bigger query. But it's error prone, and the bigger the query gets, the more error prone it gets as, as you go through this. But we have two exactly the same queries there highlighted in red. You could put it in a view, that'd be one way to do it, but views have other issues you've got to deal with. You could have a function that returns that, you could go put it in a temp table, but an easier way to do it is with the CTE. So we grab the red part here out of the original query, we added the width syntax up here, we gave it a name, and in this case I'm calling it department CTE, we declared the columns here, which in this case are optional, but for clean code and being explicit, I'm gonna call them out. And then department CTE got referenced twice down here. And although we've got about the same amount of code on this slide as we did previously, we don't have the duplicate code with the same kind of duplication problems that we would have before. This is a great way to uh, just clean up the code. And if you were working with a much larger query that's on the inside of the CTE or your drive table, you would have saved a lot more space there. So let's take a look at a demo of actually doing that. So here's that drive tables uh, query that we looked at where we've got this select statement and this select statement repeated twice in the same query. When we run it, you're gonna see that we're getting all of the parent departments and all of the sub departments returned here. So let's take a look at how we would break that up. So what we could do is take this whole query and copy it. We then take this inner part out here, paste it up here. We then say with department CTE, and I'm gonna skip the columns at this point, simplify it and show an example. As that broken out with parentheses, I'm gonna copy the CTE name, put it in here where, where we copied from, go replace the other subquery with that department CTE, clean up the formatting a little bit, and depending on your standards, you may do this in several different ways clean up the formatting uh, kind of the way I like it here. And then we highlight the whole thing and run it. And we get the very same results that we saw a moment ago. But in this case, we've eliminated the duplicate code. So if we realize we had to go in and do some work and say, well, instead I wanted to return these in a different order or from a different table, we only have one place then to go fix that code rather than uh, two places in that specific query. So most drive tables can be easily converted into a CTE. Some of them that are really big and nasty may take a little bit more work to figure out where you copy and paste, but it's mostly a copy and paste kind of a thing, not an actual code issue you've got to deal with there. Copy and paste errors can be reduced with that CTE and using the CTE does not improve performance. So if we jump back to the code, even though we've only declared this select statement here once, it's being referenced twice and each time it's referenced, it gets executed another time. So there's no performance increase over doing it that way other than it's just cleaner code and maintenance will be a lot easier with it.